Hi, it's Elsie. Welcome to my channel. With this video, I want to show you how you can create review text like this or this. I will show you how you can have the text following an object effect as well. Now let's get started. First, we need to create the text that we want to use. I'm going to show you how you can do that on CapCut and Pixar. First, let's start with CapCut. To create the text, you would click on New Project. Click on Stop Videos. Scroll all the way down. If you want to use white text, you can select black background. But if you want to use color text, you can use white background. Click on text to add in the text that you want to use. You can click on style if you want to adjust the font or change the color. But for me, I'm just going to do white text here. Then click on export. So that's how you can create the text on CapCut. Now let me show you how to do that on Pixar. So you want to open Pixar. Click on the plus icon. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. Then select the transparent background one. You want to go to text and then tie in the text you want to use. Then you can adjust it to how you like, bigger, smaller. You can also change the color if you want, but for me, I'm just going to use white. Then you can click on this icon here to save it. Now let's go back to CapCut. Open a video that you want to create the review text effect. So I'm going to use this video. This is what it looks like before I add the text. So I'm going to click on overlay to add in the text. As you can see here, the overlay is shorter than the main video. You can make it longer by adjust the speed to slower. Or you can use a freeze frame. You can click on the clip, scroll all the way to the end, then click on freeze. Then it would have a freeze frame of the clip. Then we can delete the video one. With the freeze frame, you can adjust it to however long you want. So you can align it with the video. Click on the text. Then click on splice. Click on filter to remove the background. If you are using color text with white background, you can use chroma key to remove it. Then adjust the text to where you like it. As you can see, now we have the text on the top. In order to make it behind the person, we can make a copy of the main video. Click on copy. Go to the first one. Then click on remove background. And you can see it removed the background and only have the person left. This method might or might not work well depends on how complicated your video is. Sometimes it might not be able to do a good job with the person you have. But in this case, it's good. Then we can click on overlay to move it to the overlay track. As you can see, now we have the text behind the person effect. If you like that, you can just keep it. But with this video, I'm also going to show you how to create the review text effect. You can also change the order of your overlay by click on the overlay clip. Then you can click on layer. And you can select the order of the layer. This way it can change whether it's on the top or at the bottom. Now let's edit the text so we can create the review text effect. Now you want to get to the part where the person just walk a little bit over the text. Then you want to add a keyframe on the text layer. Then go to mask click on split rotate 
to about negative 90 degree. Then you want to move it to the left to where the text doesn't show. Then get to the next spot. Add in another keyframe. Click on mask again. Move it to where it show behind the person. Then go to the next spot. Add in another keyframe. Then move the mask till you see the text. Then you can play the video to see how well it goes with the person. You might need to add in more keyframe to adjust it. So that's how you can create the review text effect. Then after you are done, you can export the video. Now let me show you how to create text following a person or object effect. I'm just going to delete this. Click on overlay, add overlay to add in the text. This time I'm going to use the photo that I created in Pixar. Adjust the overlay to match the video. You can adjust the size of the text if you want. Now you want to get to the part where the person just show up. Then you want to add a keyframe to the text layer. Then you want to move it all the way back. Just loop it into where you don't see it. Then get to the next spot. Add another keyframe. And then you want to move the text out where it's just behind the person. Then get to the next part to add in another keyframe. So this is how it would look like. You can add in more keyframe to make it more precise. So that's how you can create the text following a person or object effect. Let me show you another way on how you can create the review text effect using stickers. Open the video that you want to create the review text effect. You can use a sticker and text to create that effect. Then click on stickers to add in any image that you like. I'm going to use a airplane. Then you can click on text to add in the text that you want to use. You can select any color that you like if you want. Adjust to how you like it. If you want the text to be on the top, you can just click on the text. But if you want the sticker to be on the top, you can just click on the sticker. Then you can add a keyframe to the sticker. Then get to the end part where you want it to be in. Then you can adjust the text, add an uh, animation to it. For this one, we are going to add type 1 or type 2, depends on which one you like. I'm going to use type 2. You can adjust the speed if you want. So that's how you can create the review text effect using sticker and text. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed my videos, please consider like, subscribe, and comment down below. As always, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.